All right, good morning everybody. Sorry about my eyes, I've been having allergies again. I decided to do a video that a lot of people have commented a lot. It was the top comment on my dad's last video. And basically it's gonna be me turning sort of things gourmet-ish, because I'm not a chef, um, and having my dad react to them. So I already have the first idea, and that's ramen, because we've done that before. I think it's universally liked, and I have a good idea for it. So I'm just gonna drop something off with my dad and I'm gonna explain the concept to him. Leave a like if you enjoy these type of videos because it helps out the channel and start the video. So I'm just in the car. Hey, hi. You know what my concept for this video is gonna be? I'm gonna make stuff gourmet and you're gonna have to guess what I added. It's simple because I'm not a chef, but. But you know what? I have to say you have very good taste, but you know, like even the wings you made, I keep thinking about the season is so well seasoned and I really feel that uh, you have a good taste. You know what they say, uh, if you're a good chef and bad taste, you're a bad chef. So you have good taste. So how are you so good then? What? I'm not inventing it myself. It's like people have done it before, but it I just want to see if you can guess. As long as you are cooking it. Yeah. You just got home. Just got something exciting. You ready? What? Show you. It's in this black briefcase. Is that a present for me? No. I feel like it's like a YouTube meme that people always get their silver play button late. Really? Yeah. Presented to Jeff Bentley for passing 100,000 subscribers. Cool. Congratulations. That is crazy. Next up is the Ruby PewDiePie button. Can I feel it so I know what to try for? I do the Drake, the pasta on the play button. The <laughs> first dish we're doing, as you guys may be known, my dad has done ramen twice now. The difference is I'm not an iron chef. So I'm gonna do the TikTok hack ramen, however. I think people call it the Kylie Jenner ramen. I don't know why, but I have this instant noodle. I'll show you what I'm doing as I make it. And then my dad's gonna critique it. I'm gonna try to do a little uh, flare presentation to it. So we got our ramen here. First step is to boil the water. I have a little knob of butter. I have some kimchi here. I'm gonna cut it up. I'm gonna throw it in. I'm gonna do very little sriracha. I'm gonna add some whole milk. So you can see our boiling water's ready too. I'm gonna add the ramen in. And we're gonna take the seasoning packet, add it to the sauce. Smells pretty good. Final hack is this processed American cheese, believe it or not. I'm not sure if there's any actual cheese in it, but it's gooey and it's good. Compare this to like the try hard stuff my dad does. Put one slice in and melt it together. Okay, we drained our noodles, then we're gonna add it in. And then we just sort of mix it all together. I'm already predicting my dad does not like these type of flavors, so it's gonna be kind of funny, but anything like processed like this, he really doesn't like, but. All right, let's plate it now. I have one green onion here. These are just gonna be sort of the finishing presentation touches. So this is where I'm hoping I can do some gourmetifying. So I have this Thai chili glaze. This is mostly gonna be for presentation, I think. I don't actually know how to... <laughs> That's it. Looks like a Dad is gonna realize how much I failed him. What if we go like this? So if I wanna take it and I wanna make it like look nice like that, I think we just do it like this, right? Okay, now we don't. <laughs> what am I doing wrong, guys? You guys who cook, let me know. I feel like the ramen's too, like, coagulated. Green onion. Let's crush some seaweed and put it on the outside. Dish one, Iron Chef Dad's son turns ramen gourmet. He's gonna laugh at it, let's go see. Close my eyes. Well, come to the table. Close my eyes, you're coming to the table. Oh, yeah, son of a bitch. Oh my God, that was fucking hot. Ooh. My sunglasses, to blind you from it? Yes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, I love it. I like the little swirl with sauces. I gotta put on my real glasses. Freedom expression, right, son? Is that what you call? Yeah. Is it how your freedom this expression? Isn't, this isn't my recipe, so I'm not expecting you to like it. Well, okay. So it's a viral <laughs> recipe. Viral. Viral okay. TikTok recipe. First of all, the way you pile it up looks like a little, like a little. I was trying to do like, you know the twirl? 
Well, I got to show you the technique, okay? Yeah. Is it because the ramen's too like thick? It was just breaking every time I twist it. No, because you need technique. Need technique. Anyway. Chopstick? I, I see uh, some... Nori. Nori. Look at it, it's like... Oh, it's kind of cute. But you know, any artist, when they talk about the art, when you say it's cute... It's not a good thing. No artist thinks that <laughs> artwork is cute. I would call this, this is very kind of like... Shit. I'm not sure yet. I gotta taste it. But I do like your freedom of expression, though, son. Mmm, very umami. Holy shit, that's spicy. Really? Mm -hmm. It must be coming from the package of the seafood. This is the seafood ramen. Mm -hmm. yeah. Guess what I added? Burnt butter. Yeah. Right? I don't know if I was supposed to burn it. Oh, you by accident you burned it? It was like, it was brown. It wasn't burnt. Perfect. Really? Yes, you really bring the flavor out from a burnt butter. Thumbs up. I have to say, you know what? If I have a few drink, let's say I have a few tequila, hang with my friends, come home really late, I would probably really shove this in very fast. Oh no, kimchi. Yeah. So burnt butter, kimchi, uh, uh, cream. Milk. And I'll oh, use milk. There's one more ingredient you're missing. That's it. One more ingredient I have to. It has to be Parmesan cheese. Craft singles, you know, in the plastic. Oh. The, the melting like cheese, like the American cheese. Oh my God. It's like really orange. Yeah. It comes well, in the little plastic sheet. But I have to say, you know what taste? Because of the MSG in there, I give you a thumbs up. <laughs> I would give you eight, actually. Now. I had a green say, onions too. Yeah. My final color touch. Yeah. Now, what is the sourness coming from? I have no. My spit. Huh? My spit. I have one more plan. I'm gonna make it for you tomorrow. Really? Okay, if you like this video. It's not please. done, Dad. Oh, not done. <laughs> it's no, just I'm a roll. I gotta get some food. Okay, let's go. Okay. Some real food, right? Yes. Wanna see what I make? What are you actually I'm making? A little burrata, avocado, jalapeno, a little good olive oil, a little salt, very simple. My presentation's better than yours. Look at this fish. Oh, so beautiful. All right, what up guys? Yesterday I did ramen and I was pretty much thinking like, what could I do? Like, I don't think I could do something like McDonald's or something like that crazy that he's done. We recently did popcorn on TikTok and he did sort of a salty one. So I thought, why not do a sweet one? So we're gonna do caramel popcorn, I think. It's pretty simple from what I understand. I feel like the only way I can mess it up is if I mess up the caramel, which I could fully do, but we're gonna make it anyway and see his reaction. Salted caramel popcorn. Traditionally, I guess popcorn non-gourmet is just put in the microwave. Little pouches. We're gonna be making it caramel salted. So it's already a little bit salted. The butter, um, have these microwave packets. I'm gonna cook it in this pot first. Just gonna add a bit of oil. So we have our popcorn, and you're gonna rip open the popcorn. I guess if you just have the seeds, that's fine. Get the oil smoking a bit. All right, we got those down. We're just gonna get these separate. And then we're gonna cook it. We're just gonna start with our caramel now. I have some sugar in, pour in some water. We're gonna turn this on really high. Boil this until it gets a little bit brown and then we're gonna add some butter and that's pretty much it. Hear the popcorn popping. Then we're gonna wait till it's a bit brown. Once we see some color, we're gonna add the butter and then we're gonna turn the heat off. So our popcorn's ready now, it's stopped popping. I'll just leave that to the side. I think I'm gonna add it in now. See that brown color and full of butter. Am I burning this a bit? No, I think we're good. Kill the heat and add the butter. When we stir, play that color. So, we're gonna add this in. Look at that. And we're gonna stir quickly because it binds kind of fast. Make sure it gets coated. Go over to our tray. And that's literally it. Super easy to make. Could set a bit more, but. Oh, that's hot. I like it kind of warm. I think my dad will like it like that too. Look at that. Salted caramel popcorn. Rating? Way better than normal Jesus. caramel popcorn. Chef Jet salted caramel popcorn. Okay, my dad just got back. Couldn't give it to him. It's piping hot, but just got back, so you know it's authentic reaction. Yeah, I'm gonna feed it to you blindfold. Mmm. Oh, dude, that's good. Wow. Homemade. Wow, you made that? High five, son. Seriously, seriously. Holy shit, that was good. It's so light. And so, so I like the salt, salty part. Salted caramel popcorn. Iron Chef Iron Sun. Sun turned gourmet. Holy cow. Mm. I made mm. the caramel. I would say, uh, you know, nine and a half. 100%. What, what's missing? Nothing is missing. Why isn't it 10? 
It's just presentation on the bowl. <laughs> I'm so impressed. Truly. You know right. what you really need? You need a little bit of this uh, blue chili pepper would be really good. Mmm. Now, that's a 10. <laughs> now it's Iron Chef Dad. <laughs> 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 Alright, I want to thank you guys for watching the video. Sorry I couldn't really vlog after that. I've been having bad allergies. You guys know I struggle with this for some reason. Reflecting on the video, um, I really enjoy the process of plating. That's sort of like the arts and crafts part. The cooking, however, when it's like timed, is kind of stressful and I've always found it like that. But I feel like the more you cook, the more you get used to that timing with everything. Especially when you're trying to film too. Like that adds another layer of like stressfulness because you want to make sure it looks good and everything. But I got an 8 and a 9.5, not bad. But I just want to thank you guys for watching the video. Comment this if you made it to the end. And I want to try posting a bit more for you guys, especially when I go away. I'll see you next Sunday. Peace out.